Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got another disaster to talk about, okay? Gamers are non-stop, and what else can I say, man? After all, these suckers are adding whales in our games, okay, fine, our games, right? We had the BBC Samurai situation not long ago, and now suckers are apparently making thumbnails like this. <laughs> And they are not, uh, they are unwokifying the woke game. So, this is a brand new design from the Star Wars Outlaw. So, this is made by a fan, and this is made by Ubisoft. So, yeah, let me know which one would you like. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. And of course, we had the whale situation, but what about the game on the right, okay? Uh oh, we're gonna get into it. Roll it. Kyle think fast, outcast socially, full mast iconoclast verbosely, OSHA, Foxconn, EPA, Pfizer, no shed tears for woke sympathizers, mm. devs get doused with Vietnam napalm, do not redeem sir, sir, please stay calm, bungee activists hit by layoffs, sweet baby defense finally pays off. You must construct additional pylons. Second wind out of breath, half the big draws gone. Nick Calandra cause resignations. You can't build on weak foundation. Game Informer shut down. Oh no. Remember when you canceled DOA though? Game journals coordinate oh their strikes. Everything's sexist and racist, right? Bungie run a marathon to dissatisfaction. Who told you to shoot for extraction? Unsalted, saltine, up seen repulsive triggered by hogwarts got you convulsive stellar blade showed them who you are fake controversy over hard r can't separate reality from fiction only interested in race swapped depictions flat chest art style always betrays you commies mad the male gaze will not glaze dudes western gaming is obsessed with queer so please learn a lesson this fiscal year yeah whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Stop it right there! Stop it right there! Shout out to the homie Kyle and shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster. This what went down. You're not gonna believe it, boys. Put your seatbelts on, man, because uh, this ish but I go crazy. Okay, roll it. I wanted to discuss a game that has been absolutely blowing up online as people learn about it. It's called Mecha Break, and okay. it is a perfect contrast to games like Concord and Dustborn, some of these woke games where they make you play as female characters that look like trolls. That yeah. shit is gross! As one would expect, those games did terribly on Steam with their betas. Even yeah, yeah, as yeah, both yeah. Concord and Dustborn are set to release in the next two weeks or so, there is absolutely no buzz for these games. Nobody played their demos or their betas. Conversely, look at the footage of the character creator in Mecha Break. This is the complete opposite approach to these haggard ogres that we are forced to use in the woke games. I know that this is going to come as a shock, but it turns out that Mecha Break has over 10,000 players playing in its closed beta, even though it isn't due to... They, they might be playing for like a school project or like a, for a science. Maybe they're playing it for science or something, right? You never know, right? But you got all these sliders, that's crazy, bro. I never thought that we would ever see a day, because after all, these suckers wanted, like, this character to be the main protagonist of Stellar Blade, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, what is this game? Uh, this is, holy Come crap. out until next year. This is quite a shock! On the other hand, it's not surprising in the least. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, uh... Let's actually put but it right here. Anyhow, this game, Mecha Breaker, has been buzzing all over the internet for the past couple days, and I wanted to compare its numbers to what we are seeing with the likes of Concord, Flintlock, and Dustborn, which we yeah. have been making fun of lately. All those games feature ugly ass characters that nobody <laughs> wants to play as. The developers are. Holy crap. Man, once you see it, you can never unsee it, dog. Like, what? What is that? What is that? What is that? That is crazy, bro. Like, games uh, uh, games are becoming... There's not even a single straight person in this uh, image, right? Like, damn. Nobody wants to play as. The developers are trying to appeal to that ever-elusive modern audience yeah, that they swear audience. is real. And one of these days, that modern audience is going to come out and start buying games and show all of us anti-woke gamers out here. But here in reality, we see a different story. Here yeah. in reality, most gamers, by a vast majority, are dudes. And most 
dudes like TNA. You can cry and scream and wail about that as much as you'd like, but none of this changes the fact that it's accurate. If you want to sell games, then make your characters either manly men or curvy females. Hell, from what I can tell, most gals prefer that as well. Nobody wants to play as the fugly characters that we see in the likes of yeah, I, I mean, if you're gonna give suckers like an option, okay, option A, right? This is option A, and then you got option B. <laughs> Which one would you go with? Like, just, yeah, of course, like, duh. You know, duh. Of Concord. That is why that game only <laughs> hit about 24. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, right? So, Concord is PlayStation, one of the PlayStation exclusive. It's coming on PC as well, so not necessarily just. PlayStation exclusive, but it's a PlayStation game, right? And, and guys, this is not about Sony Ponies or egg Xbox Andes or anything like that. Like, listen, Xbox is equally bad, if not worse, in some aspects, right? Like, l l yeah, this is what they're doing. And Microsoft did say that they, they apparently don't want curvy female characters. They did say that later on they went ahead and they fired their DEI. So, DEI department, we also heard that story as well. Uh, uh, but, but check this out, right? PlayStation Concord live service game for modern audience. Where's the modern audience? Where's the modern audi audience? And this game got so much flack. But still, the all-time peak player count is still 2300. At least on the PC, PlayStation would be a little bit higher. But give or take, it's probably the same, right? And it had more players during a closed beta, which means like people that pre-ordered the game, right? Versus when it was open. When they opened the beta for everybody, it was the numbers were somewhere around like 1100 people playing the game. So yeah, that goes to show you, suckers are fed up right now. Everybody's fed up with that crap, man. Like, stop with that. Stop it. 100 concurrent players on Steam when its beta came out a couple weeks ago because nobody wants that garbage. Yeah, or look at Flintlock, facts. where they can't even break triple digits for players on Steam even yeah. though the game is only a few weeks old. Lots of people have been popping into the comment section lately trying desperately to defend Flintlock, saying, oh, people aren't playing it anymore because they beat it already. And that, of course, is a massive cope. The game is only a couple weeks old. There should be tens of thousands of players playing that game if it was actually popular, but it's not. Once again, they force you to play the female person of color who they designed to look like an ogre princess and nobody wants it the mo dude why do they do that like any any, any of my black uh, black homies watching this video like these things always do that they take a black person first of all they blackwash it and then they make them gay why why every black person female or male gotta be gay in a game or movie damn why can't you make like a normal black character or black person in the game damn damn bro this is crazy. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this uh, or, or not, but they do that all the time. For example, Yasuke, they made him gay as well. And I said it a million times, of course, like if the real, this is on a, based on a real person, right? Like Yasuke, uh, he was a real life person and he was not gay, uh, but they made him gay in the game. If he was in real life, if, if, yeah, if the real life person was gay, then okay, makes sense. Wow, right, makes sense to make him gay in the game. He was not, but they still made him though. It's like, they always are like, okay, first, <laughs> black and gay, let's uh, let's get double, double points. They, you know in Call of Duty when you got double XP weekends, right? Bruh. Th this is how these seconds are tanking, let's get them double XP right now. This is crazy, man, like, this is insane. Modern audience didn't show up. And then, we have Dustborn, the there weirdest we, game- There we go, another uh, black female character, it's female, so checkbox, black, checkbox, and also gotta make sure that it's not straight either they always do that bro they always nowadays they always do that they always do that bro i'm not sure if you guys are seeing this or not but this is insane this is crazy man game of all time which at the time of this recording has one player in the whole world playing it on steam right now one person there were tons of people once again in my comment section the other day when i was talking about this game going oh i'm so glad that you told me about this woke game just to spite you i'm gonna go and play it now well where are you dudes where are you? You're not playing the game, I can tell you that much. There is one person, and that person is probably a games journalist, trying to stick it oh, to- Or, or the, the creator of the game, you never know, right? The gamers and annoy us by playing an openly woke title, but it's oh. just pathetic. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. No, it turns out people prefer to play games like Mecha Break, which you can see playing in the background here. It's being described as Overwatch with mechs in it, and it looks pretty cool. I don't typically play those Overwatch-style games, yeah, but I same. would try this out. Why not? 
And it looks like I'm not alone. There are around 10,000 players Holy. playing the beta for Mecha Break this week, which I guess this week Damn. it's a closed. Damn, that's crazy, right? And this is my first time hearing about Mecha Break. I feel like that after this, uh, there would be more people jumping on it, but you'll see a clear. Of course, even 10,000 people are not too many, but I mean, damn, it makes sense, right? Because it's not necessarily like a full blown IP. I would still say the same for that, that game uh, that had one guy playing the game <laughs> one person playing the game i would also say the same for flintlock but i cannot say the same for a game like concord right because concord is a playstation title it's a huge title suckers have crapped on the game suckers have crashed the game so hard that it should get more people because of the negative marketing the, so uh, 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 and mostly every gamer on the internet has heard about this game, but still 2300 player count is the peak. Go figure. A and this game, I'm hearing about Mecha Break for the first time and already got 10,000 people. That is crazy. This is five times more, almost five times more than the Concord situation. And Concord got all the, the press and the, the, the marketing in the world. Whether it's positive or negative, mostly it, it has been negative, rightfully so, because they're adding whales, uh, these whales in the games. and. Seconds don't want it. Seconds don't care for it. Seconds just want a good game, eh? And minus the whole crap, this game is not fun to play and it's not a good game. Uh, subjectively uh, and objectively as well. Subjectively, I guess to some people it would be. And if it is, hey man, it, 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 you do you, boo boo. But uh, for uh, generally speaking, for general audience, it's not. Maybe for the modern audience, it is. I don't know. But but there's another situation that is going on. Wait for it. Session. Only certain people are receiving passes to play it. But even with the cap on the number of players, this game is blowing this woke shit out of the water. This is what happens when you make something that players like. When you don't Facts. force players Facts. to use strong and empowered whammon characters who look like ugly trolls. And what's more, this game is now the number 29th most wishlisted game on Steam Whoa. right now. And word is really oh, just shit. spreading about it. The buzz for this game is gonna go through the roof over the next several months leading up to its release. I can't wait to see how it all plays out, but I'm gonna leave it there. Drop that, that's insane. 29 in the world, that is crazy, bro. But check this out, roll it. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 Remake is indeed on that list because I don't trust it at all. It's a uh, he means like the Sweet Baby Ink. So yeah, Sweet Baby Ink is affiliated with Silent Hill as well. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, if you did not know, well, no, you know, no, you know. Some stupid idiots! You just made the list! Any game where they take a character that used to look like this in the original from 20 years ago and they make her look like this instead. Yeah, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> hey, 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 time out, time out. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo. That's crazy, and I know I have seen the memes of it, right? Like, let me let me see if I have the those uh, memes there uh, saved up. Yep, I do. So it, it, this is this is a real character design that they made after, of course, this one. This is the original. This is the original. I believe all the way back in 2002, if I'm not mistaken, give or take. Cor correct me if I'm wrong, right? And now they are remastered. <laughs> They have remastered. Looks like that they have hit her, hit her on with some Mountain Dews Doritos. It feels like that she was just drinking Mountain Dews uh, and uh, eating Doritos 24-7 for a bit, right? And, and this is also something that, uh, you know, our homies have made. <laughs> this is edited. This is edited. But it's hilarious. It goes to show you. Gamers are exaggerating with this one. But it goes to show you what's going on with video games right like damn they cannot even make like a decent female character what's up with that they got all the technology in the world dog there's a reason for it they always make uh, the men character always look good although sometimes they actually turn still turn them gay though you know what i'm saying even when they are not that's the craziest part if they are in real life okay that makes sense but even if they're not they still do it but when the when it comes down to the female characters dog like this is what they do this like, is crazy man like this is the original design and uh and we're not even talking about making a new character this is a new character and of course they made that from scratch and this is how it looks like they added a whale uh, in the game but <laughs> but this is a already made character how is it even possible that they can destroy something like that this is beyond me bro this is beyond me how can you 
ruin an already made character and you, you know you know what let me let me show you guys this okay let me it doesn't stop there uh, i believe this is a also this is a call of duty version right so call of duty apparently added like laura croft looking character in the game and uh, this is what they did to her like look at that damn they be, they be ruining good character designs like that bro holy crap you cannot make this up once you see it you can never unsee it dog you can never unsee it man ask yourself why why do they do this i mean we know the the reason but 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 still like ask yourself if you don't know the reason right if you're somebody i don't know the reason i don't know why they're doing good just ask yourself this men character looking good but they still make them gay though uh but uh, uh but the female characters yeah where are the straight characters can a brother get a straight character in the game did that shit on purpose because they are trying to appeal to the so-called modern, modern audience. audience. Those hoity-toity, progressive, enlightened folks who, for some reason, just never come out and actually buy any of these games that are made for them. I mean, look at the numbers for a game like Concord. They had less... This, this gotta be fake. This gotta... I mean, of course, like... The all-time player count, that's real, but the 0-0, zero, zero, <laughs> that gotta be fake, that gotta be fake, please say it, it ain't so, man. Than 2,400 players who played the beta for that thing. Look at the numbers for Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. Less than 700 players have played that game concurrently, even though the game has been out for a couple of weeks now. I suspect that Bloober Team, the developer of Silent Hill 2's remake, has taken notice of this trend that people aren't buying these woke games, and instead mm. they are playing games like The First Descendant or Mecha Break, and that is scaring the shit out of them. Before Gamergate 2 kicked off earlier this year, it seemed that developers just weren't receiving this message from gamers. They just didn't understand that we are unhappy with what yeah. they have been doing as- the Toxic gamers! Toxic gamers! That's what they always say, right? As an industry, even though sales were down, but now the message is being received loud and clear. Right. Taking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had that before. No, no, no. Major, I'm taking over. Ah! To me, that seems to be why Bloober is acting so scared about this. The article here comes from PC Gamer. The headline says, Bloober team knows fans don't really trust it with the Silent Hill 2 remake, so it's asking for the next best thing. Give us a chance. Bruh. Bloober team, it's fair Bruh. to say, is not everyone's cup of tea. Some people like what they do quite a lot, and others, well, not so much. So when Konami announced the Silent Hill 2 remake in 2022 and that Bloober was making it, the reaction was not universally enthusiastic. In a new interview with Rolling Stone, Bloober Team CEO Piotr Babieno acknowledged the apprehension but said the studio has come a long way over the years and expressed hope that fans will give us a chance to prove what it can do. How about new? The article then goes into detail as to why lots of gamers don't think they deserve that chance, but here's my yeah. take. A developer like Bloober Team fundamentally misunderstands what the original Silent Hill was doing so badly that you could call them a cargo cult. If you aren't- You suckers had the blueprint, damn it! You suckers all- this is a already made game! You're just remastering it, how hard can it be? You just need to remaster the textures! You know, Mankind has been remastering the game so much that at one point, and still to this day, Sega's always are like, oh, here we go, another remaster. And rightfully so, because, you know, they were going so wild that we would just get nothing but remasters. Call of Duty has been remastered galore for so many years, right? So Sega's were fed up with it. Sega's were like, hey, where are the new games? Where are the new games? But then, you know, after some time, when you see a beloved franchise, a beloved game like Silent Hill, uh, and you heard the news that it's gonna get remastered, you know, Sega started doing helicopters, people are doing backflips after, people are shaking, people are excited, people are hitting the G-spot, and then you come out and you ruin it like that, and you ruin the character design like that, then of course people are gonna be, and, and especially when it's uh, uh, mostly every game right now, every other game nowadays that's doing crap like that, then of course Sega's like, gonna be fed up with it and they're not gonna be like giving you a chance uh, and uh, they're like hey give us a chance man give us a chance i wonder why they're saying this i'm i'm, I'm certain that the pre-orders are probably lower than they expected 
familiar with the term. It originated from the World War II era, where it said that airplanes airdropped cargo down on a remote Pacific island inhabited by primitive tribes in order to gain their favor in the war. But those tribes didn't understand the gesture. Naturally, the tribes wanted more of the goods they were gifted, but rather than build the goods, they created totems that looked like crude facsimiles to the airplanes, built out of straw and shit. They built those totems in order to appeal to their gods, in the hopes that more of these cargo packages would be dropped down from the skies onto them. And that's what we have here with Bloober Team. They have attempted to recreate something that is beyond their understanding, quite clearly. They are simply stealing an idea, whole cloth, from those who were much better at their craft. And they are planning to ride brand recognition. It's what we see all the time with all this modern woke shit. At least a game like Concord or Dustborn or Flintlock, right? those are new properties. Yeah, I might not yeah, yeah. like those games, but I at least respect the fact that they are trying to put something new out into the world. This game, however, is shitting on something that we love in an attempt to scam us out of our cash. And I mean, here's the- Yeah, they're destroying already made games, bruh. Check out this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done. And guys, I'm not sure if you have seen this or not. This, will, this video talks about why every game is turning- <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So check out this video on the screen. Uh, if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Yeah, this is this is a video exposes the the truth, man. It's crazy.